some athletes, which is kind of surprising. I've done, you know, specific tier listings of NBA players and NFL teams and foods and movies and a bunch of different other types of categories to tier list, but I've actually have never just tier ranked the GOATs, the legends, the absolute best of the best when it comes to sports. So I thought I would do that tonight. So make sure you do uh, like the video. If you do like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. I really, really would really love that. Apparently only like eight, nine, maybe not even 10% of the people who are watching this video currently right now are actually subscribed to the channel. About 90% of you guys aren't subscribed to watch. Crazy, I know. Also, maybe comment down below who you think the greatest athlete of all time is. Is it an Olympic athlete? Is it uh, just because it's your favorite sport? Maybe just an athlete that really touched your heart while watching them. Anything like that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let us get started. right now, I'll put him in the in 
recognized as one of the greatest of all time. Uh, I don't know if, I don't think I've ever actually have seen actual live play of Pele before, like any highlights or games or really anything of that matter, to be completely honest, but I've seen some stats, I've heard some stories, I've read some big things about him uh, before many, many times, and he is definitely a legend, and I think at one point in time he was the greatest, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw him up there right now. Messi, in, in my opinion, is, is, is the greatest football player in soccer history. Now, again, this is, again, a different conversation of just pure athletes, and even as a pure athlete, the way that he dominates the game at his size is insane. It is so insane. I, like, I think he's like, what, 5'6 to 5'8, something like that. He is pretty small, and I, I know he definitely got made fun of a lot growing up trying to get into the football professional world, and boy, did he show everyone else up and really obviously made a name for himself and became a, a sensation. Like, he is one, maybe the, one of the most, if not the most beloved athletes in the entire world. They might be the most popular, the most recognizable, the most famous athlete in the world. A little bit of a, a bad cutting or cropping, you can say, of their head not being in this picture, but I think I can, I think I can tell this is John Bones Jones. John Bones Jones. UFC fighter. And I think he's the greatest UFC fighter of all time. But again, this isn't that conversation. It's athlete of all time. And I think he is definitely... I'll say he's like a legend. Uh, maybe mostly because of controversy. And obviously there's a lot of stuff around him. Uh, but he's really not. I'll put him in the conversation. I think he's definitely the greatest fighter of all time. There's nothing I'm doubting about that he is. His mental game, the way he prepares for matchups, the way he just dominates almost every sort of outing he's ever been in in the UFC, to be completely honest. I think he's the greatest fighter of all time. Now, again, he is definitely a character and, you know, has been in some problems. And I think he even got trouble for cheating, like drug cheating, I think.
imagine with what he's been able to be in his NBA career. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, though, I think you could argue a different story. I'm going to put him in the in the conversation debate. I think uh, at one point in time, for many years, he was the greatest NBA player of all time. And, I mean, if you want to talk about a track record leading from, you know, school ball to retirement, I mean, even, like, high school, college, professional, after being a professional, just the way he carries the sportsmanship in his entire life. I mean, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has one of the craziest sports lives of all time. I think he might be the greatest, like, you know, from high school to professional uh, re uh, resume, I think, I, that I can think of. Up next, we have Mike Trout. Now, you guys, well, maybe some of you know that uh, the Angels are my favorite baseball team. Mike Trout is my favorite baseball player of all time. Watching him a pretty, actually, his entire MB, uh, MLB career Obviously not that close because I don't watch baseball that much, but when I do, I love watching Mike Trout play when he can't play. He's very injury prone. <laughs> uh, you know what? As a pure athlete and just what he has been able to do as a talent, that's what I need to keep remembering, Jake. That is the, that is the ranking. I think he's I think he's a legend. I think just the pure baseball skill of Mike Trout. I mean, uh, 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 MVPs. All-star appearances, popularity of the game. I mean, he's been the best, well, arguably the best player in baseball for many, 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 many years. Sure, injuries and team success is the two things he doesn't really have, but everything else, he is a star and a stud and one of the best ever to do it. And next up we have Connor McGregor. Um, I do enjoy me some Connor McGregor. Definitely love watching him fight whenever I get the chance. I only really, really watched his career at the highlight of it, sort of the last couple big, big fights he was in, obviously, the Khabib fight was one of the greatest pay-per-view buys I've ever spent money on before, that was an amazing event to watch live, he definitely makes it worth it, I think he's a legend though, I don't think he's, I don't think he's gonna be ever in that conversation, being one of the greatest fighters of all time, and as an athlete, and just how he did in his sport, I think he is one of the best, but again, there, there, there are levels to things, and, you know, I think he did have a pretty dominant run in fighting, but I don't think he was like just an absolute manic, maniac type of like, oh my god, he's unbeatable, he's unstoppable. Kind of like how John Jones is. So again, there's like different levels, in my opinion, to it. Um, here we have uh, Roger Federer. I think that's his name, Roger Federer. Roger Federer. I think he might be the greatest... Um, tennis player of all time. I mean, if you even don't even know about anything about tennis, you know about Roger Federer or maybe even uh, Nadal. Is that his first name or his last name? I don't know, but Roger Federer is also one of the greatest tennis players of all time. What I say, he's one of the greatest athletes of all time, though. One of the greatest athletes of all time. Again, I'll put him next to his buddy and that sort of like in the conversation tier. Uh, tennis is a very tough sport. Tennis is really, really hard on people. But when I think about being the greatest athletes, oh man, that is really, really tough. Tiger Woods is next. And if you don't think Tiger Woods is one of the greatest athletes or sports figures of all time, you're bugging. You're bugging, 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 bugging. Because in fact, man, uh, Tiger Woods at one point in time was maybe the most popular, popular sports athlete in the entire country. Like, he had the country on hold as a golfer. Yes, as a golfer, he was maybe the most popular athlete of all time, uh, at least up to that point. And I think he was also the most paid athlete as well during his time as the top-tier golfer. Now, did it last very long? It was mostly a very nice 2000s run and then injuries and some other things uh, kind of got in his way, but oh my goodness, Tiger Tiger Woods' run is insane. He is. I mean, everyone knows who Tiger Woods is. Mike Tyson, I think I'll put him in the conversation as being one of the greatest athletes of all time. I think, uh, of course, human specimen.
Mike Tyson is. Like, he is just super strength. Um, definitely in the conversation as being one of the greatest, but in my opinion, well, at least when it comes to boxing, Muhammad Ali, who is actually right next to him, in my opinion, isn't in the conversation of being one of the GOATs. Could I put Mike Tyson also in that sort of same category? It's, it's just really tough, because again, just what Muhammad Ali brought as just a, a an athlete to the, the sport of boxing. I mean, what he did back in the day was insane, and just how dominant he was was also very insane. So again, when thinking about that, and just thinking about the athletic part of things, I think I'd put him in that sort of like almost maybe the greatest athlete of all time. Mike Tyson, I'm not sure if I would really put him in that same level. We have Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, man. I think baseball is such a tough sport to rank because I don't think Babe Ruth as an athlete is very great. And I also probably think there are players in the MVP today, a la a Shohei Otani, is a more talented player than Babe Ruth ever was. Maybe, you could argue, and also just the talent of baseball back then and comparing it to today is just absolutely insane but is Babe Ruth one of the greatest sports athletes of all time probably I mean this dude has his own candy bar I'll put him in goats for now <laughs> I'll put him up there for now he was I mean he still probably is the greatest baseball player of all time oh uh, we have Tom Brady who is also in the goat debate for being one of the greatest athletes of all time um you could argue not but this dude is the greatest NFL football player in his own sport and also just the pure dominance he had on a sport and again that's also a thing I try to look into and think about a little bit when talking about these people are just how pure dominant they were like again Jordan, LeBron, Tom Brady, the, uh, Messi like these guys were just they were just so dominant like it was almost unfair and when it came to Tom Brady and the Patriots, they just had the NFL on lockdown for many, 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 many years. We have Aaron Donald, which is just a very random player to put in here. I like Aaron Donald, obviously a Rams uh, player, Rams fan here. Probably going to put him on that low tier, though. I think uh, as a defender, he's maybe one of the greatest uh, defenders of all time, one of the greatest linemen. But as just, well, I mean, as an athlete, he might be the strongest NFL football player in history, which some NFL players have atoned to and told their own stories about how strong Aaron Donald is. But I don't think he really has sort of the same accolades and statistics and all that other stuff to really put him up in the rankings, at least in my own opinion. We have, I think that's Rory McIlroy. I'll also put him in that sort of great area. Uh, I think he is very great. But again, as someone who's not really interested in, in, in golf all that much, I know so much about Tiger Woods and his importance. I can't really say the same thing for Rory. I know he was really good in his peak and his heyday, but again, there's kind of levels to this, and Tiger Woods and a lot of other these athletes are just a little bit head and shoulders over that, just in my opinion. We have Patrick Mahomes now, and Patrick Mahomes... That's really tough. I think already Tom, uh, Patrick Mahomes is one of the greatest quarterbacks, at least I've ever seen. And I think at the end of his career, which maybe I should look into these other guys and sort of see that sort of same outing, I think he's going to end his career as one of the top NFL football players of all time, maybe even number two, number three, behind some other guys like Tom Brady and whatever else people can think of. And the last one we're going to be ranking in tonight's video is Wayne Gretzky. Which, in my opinion, Wayne Gretzky, yeah, just a player who just had their entire sport in the palm of their hand, and you may not even know anything about NHL hockey at all, but I would say maybe 90% of those people who don't know anything about hockey know the name of Wayne Gretzky. I think he's one of the greatest athletes of all time, one of the most popular. I mean, he put NHL on the map in the 90s, and my dad, who is a huge hockey fan back in the 90s would watch him a, a stupid amount of times he used to tell me and he was he's, he's, he's probably his favorite athlete of all time and you know sort of seeing that impact that he had on my dad sort of seeing that I mean I think he's probably one of the greatest in my opinion so that's 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 the listing when it comes to just players athletes who I just think not only what they did in their sport not only the pure dominance that they have or continue to still have but also as 
just an athlete as a pure singular 